Hello everyone. Welcome to a new playthrough. Today, it is Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, and we're just gonna jump right into it and start a new game right now. The save was successful and the dragonfly was chased off screen. And here is a loading screen. Now we're going to watch the first cutscene of the game. And that was the first cutscene of the game. It doesn't tell you a whole lot, but that's the genius about it. And uh, as you can see here, this is Spyro the Dragon flying through the clouds. He is purple with red wings, legs, horns, and angry looking eyes. After the first loading screen of the game, we're going to move on to the second loading screen of the game. This is it right here. Now that that's over with, we're going to run to the left here, and we're going to kill this sheep, because he owed me money. He owed me that gem that he dropped from his inside of his body after we had ripped it open with our horns. Now this right here is the gate. I like to come say hello to the gate whenever I have the chance. Hello gate. I see you are here today. Now it is a little known fact that if Spyro breathes fire on something, he can run through it. So that is what we had done there, because it's a thing that Spyro can do that people don't like to acknowledge because it scares them, because I think it would scare me too if I was there with Spyro, and he breathed fire on me, and then he went through me. That would be bad. Now here is a lake ocean, and we just missed it because we wanted to swim. And now we are swimming, and I hope Spyro did not hurt his head too bad when we had missed the lake ocean on the first try. I don't think he did though. Here's the gate again. Hello gate, I missed you very much. I'll come say hello to you again tomorrow because I am going home. Little known fact is that Spyro lives inside of this little green circle that he can go through. And now we are going to look at the treasure that we have found in the saving to memory card and memory card slot. A, do not touch the memory card or the power button screen, which is this one. And then we're going to do a funny animation while all of these purple circles go past us. And now that that is done and we had the 36 of the treasure, we are back at Spyro's house. But there seems to be some kind of purple, angry, midget dinosaur with purple clothes and a single horn in our house. We do not like that, so we are going to breathe fire on his balls of glass that he has all around of his body. As we do this, he will laugh at us because he is not nice and we do not appreciate when people laugh at us because we are Spyro the Dragon and we are purple and we do have wings. I felt like going over here and then he felt like coming over here too. It was pretty cool. And then he got really, he made an out, ow hurt face at us and then he hurt us back. And it did not like, I did not like. And there's a strange red pinky f frog thing there. But then we had killed him, and he says the words ARG, and then it the fades to black, and we go to sleep, and it loads. And then the next day, we wake up to find that the credits have happening. And that was Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. I really hope you enjoyed. Spyro Enter the Dragonfly because it is definitely one of the best Spyro games that has ever been released on this world and it is a good one. Now listen to the beautiful music of this lady making face sounds. Isn't it beautiful? Listen to that. Blah. That's the song. And these are the credits. And there is a strange... Uh, in the upper right corner, there is a strange black where there should be sky. But the cloud is still there, so it is okay. I wonder if Spyro will go flying through the clouds again soon. Because that was my favorite part when he does that. As you can see, the dragonfly that Spyro likes to bring around as his slave is having a happy face with a tongue in the middle of the screen over the Spyro. Enter the Dragonfly 
words. And then that was nice. But then Spyro looks like he's happy. I hope that someday another Spyro game will come out that is as good as Spyro Enter the Dragonfly is. Because Spyro Enter the Dragonfly has changed many lives, including my own life, because it has been changed because of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Because this game is the best. Goku and Chi Chi seem to be in the check six special thanks list. Goku and Chi Chi, those are weird names. I don't know who they are. Also over there, ac across the grass, there is a gong. And I really would like if someone could hit that because there is the gong stick next to it. And then it would make noise. And I like the noise. Boy, these credits sure do seem to go on for a long time. Isn't that right, Lawrence Caffey? I know. You don't have to tell me, because I can see it myself. Stuart Copeland sure did do a good job with this music. I mean, just listen to it. Oh no, it's going away. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to make the music go away. I'm really sorry. Can you please make the music come back now? Because I really didn't mean to to make it do that. It's gone. What did I do? What did I did? Why did I have? To, oh. Never mind. The music has come back. I think that the music god has accepted my apology for making it go away the first time. I was really worried there for a second. But we are okay now. Those QA testers sure did do a good job making sure that this game was not possible to cheat at on. This is Spyro Enter the Dragonfly and there is a big cloud over the blackness on the top right. Wow. Why is the blackness the black? More special thanks list. I don't see Goku and Chi Chi in it this time though. They must have been the special ones. Forward never straight. What a lame name, man. You need to go. The credits stopped in the middle of the credits. Cool. Anyway, this is the final loading screen of the game. Thank you for watching Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, the greatest of the Spyros, and I will see you again in the next game, which is something else. Oh, there was one more loading screen.